Okay, boys and girls, we are back home for the winter. And some of the things that I do right away when I get home, check on my trees and plant some more if I need to. And I try to plant a garden if it's not the heat of the summer here. We do gardens way better in the winter time than we do in the summertime in this part of the world. I've already got seedlings coming up there that I planted. Mm, I think it today is um, today is a Wednesday. I think I planted those on a Thursday, so they tomorrow will be one week. We've already got some very small seedlings popping up. I've had to cover it because we've had some freezing weather for about three nights. I think we got one more night where we're going to get down into the 30s, so I got it covered just just in case. I got some aloe vera back there. I've got covered <clears throat> over there. I've already pruned my asparagus bed back, but it's already it's sprouting asparagus again. So we're just going to let it go until it dies back. But today we received an order of red wigglers from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. It's the first time I've ever bought composting worms. My plan is just to turn them loose into my raised bed. So I've got raised beds there where you see the cinder block, that whole area back there. That's a Hugel culture bed. That's a raised bed garden. That was where I plant tomatoes and stuff in the summertime. And then I've got raised beds all over my backyard. <clears throat> We're just going to cultivate them in the beds. We're not going to do a worm bin. Raised bed right there on my chicken coop. And we're hopefully they'll do good in the wintertime and then they'll just keep growing, proliferating. The hardest part here is the summers. The summers are gnarly. So from like July through September, it's hot, 100 degree temperatures, dry, very little rain. And we lose a lot of stuff during that time frame. But we're going to open up this box of worms and see what we got. They just came in today. I don't know what we got. It comes in a FedEx box. You can see they poked holes all in the FedEx box to get air. And... I'm going to set you down here on the back of my old work truck. Let's see. So and the kids are here with me. The kids are going to help me. So the main thing is I always want to check and see if they're alive. Get them some water. Get them a little bit of food. I looked on the website. The website says when you receive them, they're good for up to 10 days. Oh, wow. Checked up that little bag. That's kind of cool. I was expecting a plastic bag. Yeah. <laughs> me too. Or like a little... Box. Comes with some instructions. I would think it was like how Casey Jones, you know, when That's, we like um, those talks a little bit about what to do when you get them and everything, a little bit of general knowledge there. And that's it. That's everything in the box. Okay, so let's open up this guy. <clears throat> now on their website, it says that they're packaged to survive for 10 days before going in the bin. But... We're going to get them in probably on the ground tomorrow. It's just going to get really cold again tonight, so I don't want to put them, I don't want to put them out tonight. I want to put them out when the soil is just a little bit warmer. So there you go. There's you. That's a cool bag. We should keep it. <clears throat> yeah, we'll keep it. Why does the Uncle Jim oh, look like that? Actual, they're not in a plastic bag at all. But it's just dirt, yeah. <clears throat> this is the bag. Wait, you... <gasps> oh! Oh, yeah, check that out here. I would have one more. Can I touch one? <laughs> yeah, you can touch them. Look, I don't know. I don't want to spill them on the back of the truck. Where's the camera? Where's the lens? But you can see they are alive and well. I got one. I got one. <laughs> I got, <laughs> got two. two. Oh, I'll pick up this one. Oh, no! Yeah, we oh, I can feel them wiggling around. We're gonna so, so what it said that we should do is give them, I think, half a cup of water. I have to double check that. Let's see if it says here. Worm, I got it worm. Says... <laughs> Literally. Oh my God! Hello, babies. <laughs> Welcome to your new home. Whoa! <laughs> uh, oh yeah, it says right here. Do not let box sit in direct sunlight. Open the bag immediately. Look, there's one here on the bed. Get him, put him in there. Don't squeeze them because you'll kill them if you put too much pressure on them. Open the bag immediately upon arrival and pour half a cup of water on your worms to begin the rehydration process. Okay. It says adding red wigglers and European night crawlers to your lawn garden compost pile is one of the smartest and most environmentally friendly things you'll ever do. Why? Because their castings are one of nature's oh, finest plant nutrients, seven times richer in phosphates, five times richer in nitrogen, 11 times <laughs> richer in 
potash and the average lawn soil. On average, each worm will produce their body weight and castings every day. Okay, so we're going to get them some water. We're going to put a little bit, they said to put use oatmeal. And we do have some oatmeal in there. We can sprinkle in here for them, give them some food. And then we're going to keep them inside by the wood stove with us tonight so they stay nice and warm. We need to give them water, so like 10, we 10 cups? Sure they don't no, get half it. a cup. Oh, you don't want to cup. drown them. Yeah, Because you can get it. Oh, whoa, that guy's feisty here. One more look. He's fast! Look at him. Oh, this one's a mm. chunky one right here. I, I can feel Look at this chunky one. So there you go. So look at that. They're crawling all over the place. So what I ordered was the 2,000 worm package. It was like $65. And they added like $10 shipping. So it was like $75. Oh because And the reason I do this one. is because I want to get my soil going as fast as possible. And while we're here through the winter, while it's the mild part of the year, I want to nurture the beds and the garden and the yard, the fruit trees, anything that survived that we've been gone for a couple of years and it's been real dry weather so we want to get everything up and going make sure our perennials are taken care of and then we just want to put these worms into the into the soil and i'll probably buy one or two more shipments of worms as the winter progresses because unfortunately i don't think we have much um, much earthworm activity in our garden it's just it's a raised bed i built and this part of the the country is it's just, you know, caliche and it's bad subsoil. And I haven't ever introduced any earthworms into the soil. And like I said, it's just been so dry here. So hopefully um, we'll be able to not have the drought problems going forward. It's always a gamble. But we got to keep trying, right? So anyway, this is from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. And I bought them online. It took, I think I bought them on Friday or Saturday. And today's Wednesday. So they shipped them on Monday. They literally got here in about 70, 72, or less than 72, about 48 hours. All right, there you so go. Cool. Very cool. I hope that helps you guys some way. And I'm sorry about this. I still haven't had a chance to get a new phone yet, but I will one these days.